What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Fresh Sprint Sports, and today we're going to be doing a prospect breakdown slash scouting report on Tyree Wilson. If you're new here, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the other videos on the channel. Without further ado, let's get started. We give out the pros and cons, team fits, pro comparison, and wrap it all up, draft projection. So basically, background, he's a 6'6", 275-pound senior edge from Texas Tech. Stats for him... In his total four years, he's had 121 tackles, 32 tackles for loss, 17 sacks, one pass deflection, one fumble recovery, and one forced fumble. Awards from 2022, he was first team all Big 12 and the 2021 Liberty Bowl defensive MVP. Strength and weaknesses for Wilson. He has amazing physical traits, to say the least. He's 6'6", 275 with freakish arm length. Wilson is physically dominant with strong hands as a as a run defender block shedding and setting the edge he does a great job as uh as a pass rusher we can see him bull rushing linemen and collapsing pockets with pure power he's also the opportunity he has the opportunity to play inside or on the edge and has excelled at both at texas tech cons from though not much athleticism as a pass rusher i think definitely he is athletic um but to as a top three player in this draft class he's not the most athletic um and he does lack a lot of finesse moves being used in his pass rushing skills he also struggles with play recognition and reaction and i wouldn't really trust him in rpo type of situations carlos dunlap is going to be his pro comparison freakish physical traits that can make plays as pass rushers without much finesse Dunlap came in as a run stopper just like Wilson then developed as a pass rusher. Uh, Wilson can get there as he's already been a better sack machine coming out of college than Dunlap. And I can definitely see Tyree Wilson with those physical traits become great. Team fits, I'm going to have to go with the Cardinals. The Cardinals need more pass rushers to keep J.J. Uh, Watt more intact and double more of his production Wilson could be versatile in that defense at defensive tackle as a 3-4 defense end or as just an edge rusher so I would like to see you know the sack production with why Zach Allen and uh, Tyree Wilson create something for that Cardinals defense to get them off the field on third downs draft projection I'm gonna have to go a mid first round he could have a Trayvon Walker type of jump to make it to number one with a great combine and stuff like that but you got to think about it. This year is not the same. You got Will uh, Anderson. You got Bryce Young. You got a lot of different talented players, uh, generational type players, shall I say, uh, coming to the draft, especially with like Jalen Carter. Um, and then you got guys like Joey Porter, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think this year, but if he definitely would have came into a year like last year, he definitely could be that number one type of pick. Um but right now, I have a mid, a mid first rounder that could be a project for a team with a very high ceiling as I think we only scratched the surface of his college career. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Check out all the other videos on the channel. If that's all, thank you guys for watching and peace.